let's say you have a nice shiny Dell PowerEdge T640 tower server that you want to load with either Microsoft Windows Server 2019 or Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. You have the ISOs, but the server lacks a DVD drive. And for whatever reason, you don't want to, or can't, use certain software or third-party utilities like Rufus. Therefore, we're going to look at how to create a bootable USB drive using only tools and utilities native to the operating systems. First, we're going to use a Windows 10 computer to create a bootable 16 gigabyte USB drive that can be used to install Windows Server 2019 on this or on another computer. Warning, be careful, deliberate, and precise. Performing these actions on the wrong disk with elevated administrator rights will result in permanent data loss. If in doubt, double check. If still in doubt, stop. You have been warned. With Windows, we have three options. One, disk management. Two, disk part utility. And three, PowerShell. Disk management is an easy to use MMC snapping GUI that simplifies disk management functions. However, to create a bootable drive, there's a necessary step that disk management does not do. Therefore, we're going to focus on the latter two options. However, to start, navigate to the folder where the Windows ISO file is located and double click the mount. The ISO file will appear as a mounted DVD drive with an automatically assigned driver letter. In this example, the ISO file is mounted with the driver letter E. With the 16 gigabyte USB drive installed, open an administrative command prompt or PowerShell session. Enter the disk part utility. Type list disk. Note the number on the disk on which you want to take action. You can verify by checking the size column. In this example, we're working with disk one. Type select disk one. Again, follow with list disk. You can verify that disk one is selected and has focus by noting the asterisk to the immediate left. To ensure the disk is empty, type clean. This will remove any and all partition or volume formatting on the selected disk. Now create a new primary partition. Type create partition primary. To make the partition bootable, it needs to be active. Type active. Type assign letter equals F so that it is reflected as an F drive. You can assign any unused drive letter you like. For optimal compatibility, including systems with secure boot enabled, the USB drive should be formatted with the FAT32 file system. Type format FS equals FAT32 quick label equals 16 GB USB boot. That's it. Type exit to exit the disk part utility. To copy the contents of the ISO file to the USB drive, type robocopy forward slash e e colon backslash f colon backslash asterisk. You may see this dialog box here that's asking you to format the disk, but you've already formatted the disk using the disk part utility. In this case, click cancel. With the 16 gigabyte USB drive installed, open an administrative PowerShell session. Type get disk. Notice the number of the disk on which you want to take action. You can verify by checking the total size column. In this example, we're working with number one. You can verify by typing get dash disk one. Since we're using PowerShell, we're going to exploit its ability to pipe objects to downstream commands. Clear the disk and remove any and all partition and volume formatting and ensure the selected disk is empty. If the disk is already blank, you may see a red text error indicating the disk has not been initialized. This is okay. Next is to initialize the disk and identify the partition style. Create a new primary active partition. Format the volume using drive letter F similar to what we did earlier. 
Again, copy the contents of the mounted ISO file to the USB drive using RoboCopy. You may be presented with the dialog box asking to format the disk. Again, you have already formatted the disk using PowerShell. You can ignore this. Click Cancel. Now we're going to use a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 computer to create a bootable 16 gigabyte USB drive that can be used to install Linux, any distro, on this or on another computer. Warning, be careful, deliberate, and precise. Perform these actions on the wrong disk as the root user or user with sudo writes will result in permanent data loss. If in doubt, double check. If still in doubt, stop. You have been warned. For Linux, we pretty much have one option, the DD command to clone the contents of an image file to a USB drive. Open a terminal and type lsblk to see attached drives. Likewise, fdisk l will yield similar information. However, that command requires root access or sudo writes. With lsblk, pay attention to the name, size, and type fields to help identify the target drive. In this case, the 16 gigabyte USB drive is sdb. Type the dd command as shown. BS means block size, in this case we're using 4096 bytes. IF means input file, OF means output file. When completed, type LSBLK again. Now you see partitions associated with the disk as shown with SDB1 and SDB2. That's it. For more information, do your Googling. However, here are some reliable web resources to get you started. Oh, 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 oh,